Hi guys and welcome back to Denise Beauty Corner. Today I am going to show you how you can make your own acrylic nails. For me I have been doing my own acrylic nails for a while now so I think it's pretty easy but I'm going to tell you that if you haven't done this ever before on yourself just be calm and relax and know that it takes a few times before you will hit it perfectly. To do your own acrylic nails you will save a bunch of money every year and um, you don't have to book appointments and you don't have to squeeze it into your schedule uh, and uh, yeah you can just do it whenever you have time and you have a gap in your calendar and you can do it at home. Wouldn't that be perfect? I have been doing acrylic nails for a while now. I have been doing it on and off for many many years. I started to do my acrylic nails in a salon and I was going for a few years in a salon but then I was thinking like hey I think I can do this myself. I am not a nail artist so I just want to put it out there. I, I don't have the profession of being a nail artist. I am just self-taught but um, I think that as long as you're doing it on yourself and you're really being careful that it's not dangerous for you. So I just want to put the disclaimer there that I'm not a professional. And I might do something that is wrong but this is what is working for me. I buy all of my equipment for doing my nails on AliExpress and I have been going through so many different sellers and some of them have been good some of them have not been so good but I have ended up with finding some ones that I really like yeah so this is what I'm gonna show you in this video so I do hope that you guys like this and if you do try this or if you have tried it before at home please make the comment in the comment sections down below and let me know and uh, yeah I hope you like it and if you do please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already I would love for you to subscribe to my channel so you can be part of my beauty YouTube family here and yeah let's jump right into this DIY how you can do your own acrylic nails so for doing your nails at home you need acrylic liquid you need some acrylic powder and I'm just using like a white transparent powder so I'm using just one color you need a pencil and you need also files and I am having like a little glass cup where I Put the acrylic liquid in and then you need some remover primer and a buffer so the first thing we're going to do is to remove the nail polish that we have and I have one nail that is broken so I'm going to show you how you can do it from scratch here so I'm removing everything that I have and then I am starting to file the nail in the shape that I want it so it's important here that you're starting to create the shape even though we are going to do it in several steps with the shape later and then I'm also going with the light side on the file I'm just going over on my whole nail just to make the texture a little more rough so the acrylic will grip better to it then I'm starting to push in my cuticle a little bit down and uh, cleaning off the excess of the like dead skin that we have around the nail so I'm cleaning everything and uh, then going over with the remover again so we have the nail nice and clean. And then I'm putting some acrylic primer. I also buy this from AliExpress and then I wait a little bit and then I go over with the remover again. Then I just fill a little bit of the acrylic liquid in this glass cup. And I'm starting off with cleaning my brush and make sure that you have an acrylic brush because otherwise this is not going to work. So it needs to be a brush that is made for doing acrylic nails. So as you saw I was dipping my brush in to the cup and then I took off the excess and then I just point the brush into the acrylic powder and I get it on one side like a drip of acrylic. Then I'm starting to building it on my nail and I'm starting in the tip area of my nail and what you really have to do here is you really have to press down the acrylic down in like so it gets once with your nail uh, and make sure that you get no air bubbles so you should not see any spots where you have air underneath the acrylic. Then I'm going back into the acrylic liquid and dipping my brush once again. So this is the step that we're doing over and over again and slowly building the acrylic lower down so now I put the acrylic a little bit lower than I put it the first time so we're starting to build the shape and you can see that I'm always cleaning my brush in between and that is because if you don't do this you're gonna end up with a lot of acrylic in the brush that you cannot get rid of so it's very important that you always take off the excess acrylic 
So we are getting closer to the end of the tip and you can see here I'm pressing and firming the shape that I want. And uh, it's also important that in the end, close to the curticular, you are always going to be pressing down and cleaning it up so you don't have any air bubbles. Because if you have air bubbles in the end of the nail, you're going to lose the nail very quickly. So you need to really press it down and see so you don't have any air. And um, you can also fix this part a little bit with the file in the end but you can see here that I'm very precise and really like pressing down the acrylic and going around my nail and when you are getting closer down to the cuticle you really need to be precise uh, and I like to clean off my brush and then go around to see that I have no acrylic going all the way down to my cuticles because if you do have you're gonna get air bubbles very quickly and uh, you're gonna get air underneath the acrylic and then the nail is gonna go off very very fast so you really need to make sure that you have no air bubbles and you don't have any acrylic all the way down to the cuticles because then you're gonna have big problems I'm telling you and you can see also the closer I get to the cuticles the less product I'm picking up on my brush. And now I'm just going around to make sure that I have absolutely no air bubbles and this is the most important thing to make your nails last for a long period of time. Then you have to wait until it's completely dry and then we're going to start filing the shape. So uh, I like to go really like roughly and firstly I like to go around my cuticles so I make sure that I have no thick parts there because you really want it to be seamless no air bubbles once again I know I say it many times but it's so important to make your nails really last and also to make them seamless because if they are bulky and thicker closest to your cuticles you're gonna get air bubbles it's gonna lose this up very quickly so make sure to first go around and make it seamless around the cuticles and then start shaping the shape that you want and I like to take them in a little bit so I, I don't get them so squared I like them a little more pointy but not too pointy and what I like to do is I go you can see here and then I'm like buffering up so I'm starting with a shape and then I buffer with the file up a little bit on the nail to also make it seamless in the ends here so you can see here that I'm like filing my file a little bit in and going around so it's a little bit of technique and um, everyone has different ways to do it I guess but this is my way of doing it and I find that it makes it very seamlessly and uh, my nails are lasting me for a very long time I can have them for five to six weeks so I think I'm doing something right and then when I am happy with the shape and everything I am buffering and this is also to make the acrylic a little more smooth because acrylic can be a little more rough to the touch so to make it a little more smooth I'm buffering everything and then I'm going over with the least like the silky side to make it a little shiny and there you have it your very own acrylic nails and as I said they last me a very long time and uh, it's not so complicated to do so I hope you guys like this video